Your next speaker, Mrs. Rebecca Harms, a minute and a half. Uh, we have uh, Turkish guests here. Now, the botched uh, coup is being used more and more as a pretext uh, in order to curb freedom of expression and violate human rights. Tens of thousands of men and women, judges, teachers, academics, uh, civil society activists, human rights activists, uh, as well as small children, have for months and years now um, been in jail. And there are more journalists in jail in Turkey than in any other country anywhere in the world. And although the Constitutional Court has judged their incarceration to be unconstitutional, to be unlawful, Tana Kilic, who is the chair of uh, Amnesty International uh, in Turkey, or my friend Ahmed Sheikh Osman Kavala and Sila Hatin Dimitash, um, their jailing shows that we need uh, to realize that international pressure for a return to the rule of law so far has failed. And that is why we need the European Court of Human Rights um, to put an end to embarrassing, le embarrassing delays and to expedite um, its judgments in pending cases. And it is terrible to see how much the democratic spirit and how much the country's future is now disappearing behind bars. Now, really, I'm very, very frightened when I see what is happening in Afrin and in Idlib. What we are seeing again are repeated uh, violations of international law. And there are huge threats to the wider region. There's a threat of re-escalation, as a threat from despots and Mr. Hahn and Ms. Mogherini have a really difficult job. But what we are telling them this evening is that we uh, are worried about a new conflagration in the region. That is what I am worried about. I really do worry about a conflagration in Afrin. And I want you to take that message back to Turkey. Because for many years, Turkey was stable and was on the right path. It was on the right track. And uh, my real worry is that Turkey might get sucked into this conflagration. Thank you very much. The next speaker, 